Hey, it's Harker from Play. And today let's talk about how to apply one or more actions to all of the children within a stack or a page with just one action. And we'll do this using the loop children interaction node. So just a brief overview of what's on my page. I have this stack called list and inside it, there's four children, card one, two, three, and four. Now I'm gonna select my full page and I already have this tap trigger here. And on the tap trigger, I'll add a loop children interaction node. Now on the loop children node, you'll see that there's two properties. First is the parent. And this is where you will select the parent that has all the children that you want to loop through and apply the action to. So in this case, as we just talked about, we're gonna choose list. Then you also have the index property and you can choose basically the order in which these children have the action applied. So if it's forward, first card one, then card two, then three, then four. If it's reverse, that reverses it, four, then three, then two, then one. And then you can also randomize it. So now let's add an action onto our loop children node. I'm gonna do scale in this case. So it's a set property with the property being scale. And when you have an action on a loop children node, we automatically fill in the target for you. It's gonna be loop children dot child. And this will individually go through each child of the stack that we've selected in the parent property of the loop children node. It's a bit of a mouthful there. Now I can go ahead and set the value. And I just wanna scale these up just a little bit. So 105%. So now on my iOS device, I can tap and you can see all of the cards scale up at the same time to 105%. And I only had to create one set property action instead of having to do one for card one, another for card two, and so on and so forth. What's really great about this is it's also scalable. So if I go back into design mode here and I take this card and duplicate it, so now I have five cards in my list. When I tap, you can see that fifth card scales up the same way as all the other ones because it's still a child of my whole list. The way our interaction is currently set up, all of the children are going to scale up at the exact same time. But let's say you want to stagger them. We can do that using the delay property and the expression editor. So on the left side, I'm gonna click on this plus button and I'm gonna do a custom expression. And in here, I wanna target the index of each child. So you can see similar to how the target was loop children.child, this is going to be loop target children.index. And so the value here is going to be zero for card one because its index value is zero, one for card two because its index value is one and so on. So I'm gonna take that index value and I'm gonna multiply it by a number of seconds here. So in this case, I'm gonna do 0 0.1 seconds. Nice, so with this, when the index is zero, so for card one, the delay is going to be zero times 0 0.1. So it's going to be zero. So that first one's going to scale up immediately. The next one is going to be one times 0 0.1. So it's gonna wait 0 0.1 seconds. That's it's gonna be its delay, and then it's gonna play. So now let's see what that looks like on our iOS device. You can see each one scales up 0.1 seconds after the other one. And that's how you create a staggered effect in the loop children interaction. Thanks so much for watching this video. Looking forward to seeing how you use loop children in your designs.